we are very, very happy and proud and excited to introduce to you our new speaker designee, Lori Jenkins. Democrats are calling this a historic day. After two hours of voting, the caucus announced Lori Jenkins is Washington's new Speaker of the House. I want to have an open door. I want to have engagement with people. I Jenkins, a representative from Tacoma, will take over for Speaker Frank Chop, who stepped down earlier this year after nearly two decades. What does it mean to you to be the first woman elected to the Speaker of the House position? I'm really honored to be kind of a reflection of the change of politics in the nation and in the state, but I'm going to end up just really being a representation for people who haven't seen themselves at the table before. And now they'll be able to see a woman at the table, they'll be able to see an out lesbian at the table, and I think that's a good thing. The Wisconsin native holds a law degree from Seattle University and got started in politics fighting locally for LGBTQ rights, which eventually took her to the House of Representatives. It's been the most amazing, wonderful job I've ever had in my life. It's a job she's held for nine years, serving as the chair for the House Civil Rights and Judiciary Committee and sponsoring the Long-Term Care Trust Act, making Washington the only state with an employee paid long-term care benefit. We did that by you know, going through and compromising and pushing and pulling on each other, um, and it made a better product for the people of the state. And that's the way I think we'll continue to operate with me as speaker. Now in one of the most powerful political positions in Washington state, Jenkins says she's ready for what's ahead. I know that there will be um, a lot of work to do. Is that daunting? A little bit, because I'm not really quite sure yet how full my plate is, but I'm pretty sure it'll be full. Um, and I'll have to uh, eat as much as I can every day. Filling her plate when she takes that position when the session begins in January. In SeaTac, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.